guys welcome back to Claudie cooks I can't wait to cook for you today let's do it in sunny Portugal and the dish that I'm cooking I know you guys are going to love it let's go cook up a storm people yes that's all we like it Yay! today we are going to cook some peri peri inspired chicken seeing as i'm in portugal so i've washed a spatchcock chicken and i've pat dried it and i've scored it so it can soak up all of the beautiful spices that i'm gonna put on that and here we have three teaspoons of peri peri seasoning and that's got things like chili cumin bay leaf salt black pepper bell pepper all of those goodness and i've got here half a teaspoon of black pepper and i've got a teaspoon here of garlic granules and a real small um, pinch of salt and i've got some vegan butter here just about a teaspoon and over here i've got an assortment of potatoes here and I've got some courgette, red pepper, and I've got some onion here, and I've got a piece of orange and some lemon, and I've got some garlic here. And to spice things up, I've got some hot peri-peri sauce, and of course, I've got some olive oil. So let's get cooking guys yes let's do it guys instead of sipping on a glass of cold pina grigio I'm sipping on a cup of tea so British <laughs> let's season this baby up right we're gonna start with some olive oil a good splash of olive oil yes and we're going to do it both ways. Whoopsie daisy. Right. Now, right, we're seasoning on both sides. Okay. Salt. I must say the peri peri season has got salt in it as well okay so I'm only using a small amount of salt as well a bit of pepper over she goes This is going to taste amazing because it's in the sunshine. You can't get better than that. Everything tastes amazing when the weather is hot. Well, that's what I think anyway. Now for a splash of peri peri sauce. I like it spicy. Use less if you don't like it spicy. Right now guys, are you ready to give this a good massage? Because I am. Because I need some tasty chicken here today. Okay? Right, let's go. Try and get it into the slits of the chicken. Right. And massage it in really well. Right, I'm working with marginal spices here. But I tend to, to do this whenever I'm away 
they're just cooking with basic flavoring just to see how it tastes <laughs> in the sunshine. And now we're gonna add this butter. I'm trying to put them into the slit of the chicken as well. seasoned right now let's get a roasting tray and into this tray we're gonna add the veg first we're gonna add the potatoes yes potatoes Red bell pepper. And in that, we're gonna add the bowl of whole garlic. To that, we're gonna place the chicken. is the chicken and add freshness to this beautiful chicken that we're cooking today and now I'm gonna add a squeeze of orange another layered zest flavors in here Just gonna stop that here. What are we gonna do now? Here you have it. And what we're gonna do, right, we're gonna place this in the fridge, cover it, place it in the fridge, and leave it for about an hour. And if you don't have an hour, you know, an hour to spare, just give it maybe about 10-15 minutes, and then you pop it into a preheated oven. Right, 180, and we're gonna cook that for an hour. And if it still needs some cooking time, just add some more time to it. So right now we're gonna take this away and pop it in the fridge cupboard. This is the view I'm having while I'm cooking. Amazing. Look at that view. Fabulous. And this is what makes you feel so great to cook when you're abroad. Okay, I've brought this to room temperature and now I'm going to put it in the preheated oven. And as mentioned, I'm cooking it at 180 degrees for an hour. But please check, please check, you know, to make sure it's not burning and drying out, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like once I'm finished. It's an hour and five minutes later because I wanted it to look nice and golden for you all. Have it guys. Look at that. 
we're gonna devour that now. We're gonna devour that. So, 